Hello Internet, Jay Burton here and it's a rather cold, cold day out here in northern Wyoming. There's about, I don't know, about five inches of snow on the ground outside and uh, there's a high of like 19 today. So, it's cold. Anyways, um, football, sports, yeah, I'm going there, I'm going there. Does sports really make an impact in your life? Me personally, I think it's all fixed. All professional games are fixed. Now you think about it now, okay? Now, I used to be a, a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan. Now, I'm 46 years old, and in that 46 years, they've gone to the Super Bowl and won once. They've only gone to the Super Bowl once, and they won once. They have never been back since. Who are the normal people that go to the Super Bowl? Think about that for a, for a minute. How many teams, out of all the teams, how many of them go to the Super Bowl? What teams are the ones that actually go to the Super Bowl? You got the Pittsburgh Steelers, you got the New England Patriots, you got the the, well, the Green Bay Packers. I don't follow football, so I'm not going to start naming off all these teams that normally go. You know, I don't care. Right? It does not influence my life. It does not influence yours. You think it does. You think that football, basketball, hockey, soccer, you think it actually plays a part in your life. And it doesn't. You want to know why? Sports came about, huh? Look up Alan Watt. A L A N W A T T. Uh, he's uh, he's a researcher into the new world order of eugenics and more. He did a, uh, an interview in 2009 where he talks about geopolitics and how many of the politics and trends have come to be. All right talking about sports. When radio came along, of course, they used that to the maximum. Sports for the men and soaps basically for the women. And then came in television. With its alpha state, its hypnotic state, it took off. It really took off. And men became glued on Saturday nights to the sports shows. The think tanks had to do with planning the future and how and how do they create societies and even different cultures within a hundred years from, say, this type of society to that type of society? And to the, the next society? How to implement it and always through the youth culture, which is easy to do if you have a universal education, which is kind of what we have now, isn't it? You, you could always mandate the same system, same culture to be taught to the youth. However, since the 1960s, since television really took off, sports usually came out only on Saturdays. Over a 10-year period, it gradually came on every night of the week. Does that sound familiar? Until today, we have sports channels. Sports, sports, sports. You see guys that are sitting home and they are powerless at work with their bosses. On the road, you have police and traffic men and women uh, that are watching the sports. They have no means to feel strong, so they tend to watch sports. They project themselves into a game which they never participate in. Does that sound familiar? But, as long as their team is winning... They feel that something in their life is positive and is successful. Even though they're not. They feel that they are.
It is a very good substitute for many, many things as far as the elite are concerned. Now, big think tanks that involved many professional people knew that they would have to get something for the males and for the women also gave a substitute too. That was soap operas. How many women are just addicted to soap operas? They can't get away from them. They even got them on YouTube! Yeah. The tension being ultimately to alter society drastically is to alter it so much that even the purpose of marriage would lose any appeal. For the females that gave them high fashion, acceptable prices for high fashion or clothes, they brought in and people don't realize they brought in the miniskirt back in the 1920s during Prohibition. Why? Why did? Why was? Why was the miniskirt brought in? I mean, think about it. Something people don't understand is that when the mini, when the bikini first came out, and it was brought out on purpose, they could not get normal women to wear these things. They had to hire prostitutes to wear them, to fat, to model them. But we're not talking about that right now. We're talking about sports. Uh, they brought in cocaine at the same time along with booze to get people in. The idea that if you are doing something illegal that is naughty, youngsters like to break the rules. They get together, we are all being naughty together. And sex and booze coupled with coke being smuggled in at the same time had its desired effects. But not quite, they had designed by those that designed the culture. You are designed to watch sports. They put these things on and they put it on in such a show fashion. I mean, think about it. It looks like a big production. You know? You got the mid game and I think it was 2004 2005 when Janet Jackson came out and boop out came her boob and of course they cut right at that instant did they know that that was gonna happen I think they did because otherwise it would have been up longer but, of course, right there in front of hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people, it got aired. Of course, you notice the next Super Bowl was so much cleaner and Tom Petty came out and did the halftime show. Sports. A waste of time. A waste of resources. A waste of money. How many people are spending hundreds, if not thousands, Tens of thousands of dollars for a Super Bowl ticket to sit in very cold stands for a couple of hours watching a pig, pigskin go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And at the end of the day, it makes absolutely no difference in your life. Ten years from now, who's going to care? Huh? Ten years from now, who is going to care? Who won what game? I want you to answer me this one question. Last year's Super Bowl. Do you remember who won? And what difference does it make in your life today? What difference does it make in your life today? None. How much money did you lose betting on one team or the other. Maybe you won a little bit. I don't care. It makes absolutely no difference in your life. You are programmed through these television shows. Got it? Good. You like the video? Share it.